How's it going, guys? This is Vaughn. We're back here with some more American Truck Simulator. Uh, we're driving uh, Outlaws 359, Peterbilt 359 today, the EX HD. Uh, we've got a 625 horsepower Cat King of the Hill diesel engine in there. Uh, we're just pulling a double axle food tank trailer today. Uh, we're taking a shipment from Denver to Laurel of uh, milk, 46,000 pounds of it to be exact. Uh, so we're all loaded up. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and turn on our engine. Oh, we're using our Black Beauty skin from Polly as well. I'll put that in the link, uh, sorry, in the description. Uh, the link in the description along with the truck. Uh, the truck is free, by the way, so I highly recommend it. it drives beautifully, and we'll go ahead and see the interior here in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and start her up real quick. Beautiful. We've got our lights on there. We've got some... Uh, we didn't really go too extravagant with the uh, the lighting. Just got some markers there on the uh, side skirts. Uh, we've got some on the air filters um, up on the roof as well. I haven't heard the horn yet, so let's go ahead and try that out. Make sure it works at least. Nice. Okay, we're good to go on that. Let's head inside. Nice interior. Very cool. Uh, decided to go with the, the wood grain uh, on the dash. Uh, we've got some worn carpet down there as well. You can tell that this truck's been around for a while. It's got some age to it, which I love. Uh, I, I much prefer this look over the newer trucks. Uh, so, cool. We're good to go, basically. So let's go ahead and get her on out of here. Don't think we have our parking brake on. Could be wrong. We'll go ahead and start in one low and get out of here. Oh, we did have it off. And I just put it on. Okay. I was going to make that mistake. There we go. Really quiet engine too. You can barely, barely hear that. Uh, because of that, let's go ahead and put our windows down. Why not? We'll lower it once we get back on the highway. Only thing I don't really care for about picking up uh, from the city is that it drops our frames pretty badly. Uh, and it seems to be a very very common issue. Almost everybody seems to mention that their frames drop a little bit when they're in the city limits. Um, or when there's just a ton of traffic, so... It's something we're living with, you know. Alright, so which is our exit lane? Oh, alright, that's it right there. Big bumps. I always take the middle lane out. I don't know why. It's a habit. <laughs> yeah, I got some, a little bit of frame stutters there. A little bit of frame stutter. Let's go. Oh boy, we gotta make a left out of here? Oh man, this is the intersection I hate. I always seem to get stuck here. Yeah, because there's that, that darn train that cuts right through as well. Yep, and there's a train going by <laughs> right now at this moment. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, it's, I mean, traffic's not piling up extremely bad yet. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let's see if this, if this one green light clears it out. See what happens. Uh, I don't see anybody moving. Okay, let's not be a green light then. Come on, people. We got a shipment to do here. I, I can guarantee no one's going to let us out either. And that traffic's just already started pilot, piling up there a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can... Let's just let's poke out a little bit and let them know we're here. Oh, nice. He's letting us go. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you.
I think that was a sir. Mm, it's hard to see with this. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Grinding away. Man, those frames really, really tank there. It's not five. There we go. Oh, I missed the green light. Oh well. Such is life. Such is life. I'm still very surprised that that, uh, <laughs> that car let us pull out of there. And I, I, I try to do that. I just kind of like stick my nose out. Try to see if somebody will take pity on us. And not leave us there for the next half hour. Okay, we're going to just swing a little bit out for this. Not too far. Oh, there we go. Nice. Guess we can go up to five and climb this. No problem at all. Sweet. Oh, I've not heard the Jake either, so let's give that a shot real quick here on this turn. Very low. It has a it has a very deep sound to it. <laughs> okay, we're getting on, and we're going straight. It looks like so. Let's merge on here. Shift into A high. There we go. All right, sweet. Let's roll up our windows. We're cruising now. 55. Loving this truck so far. It's uh, it's definitely got some style to it. I guess I thought this lane was ending. Well, we didn't really have to switch lanes, but oh well. I was, I was following that, uh, that red car up there. I, I thought this lane was gonna about to end for some reason um yeah it's got that style that i absolutely love that uh older vintage style look to it uh and especially what i love is, is uh we'll have to do this sometime i just wanted to show off the black beauty skin today um it's got a uh, a paint job that will give us that nice worn look that beat up, uh, battered and rusty <laughs> body, and uh, I think I think even the chassis as well. We can customize to look worn out like that, uh, as well as the tires. So I really like that it came with so many options. Um, Outlaw's got a, uh, I believe, a W900 as well that I want to try out, um, and they're about to release another version, I think, too, version two. So, great stuff, great stuff over there. And uh, another weird thing was that I had attempted to, uh, before downloading Outlaws, uh, I attempted to purchase the um, cab over um, from John Ruta. Uh, but for some reason, oh, I'm gonna slow her down a little bit. Pull in here. 
For some reason, the uh, the transaction wouldn't go through. I'm not sure what that's about. I tried. Um, you can you can just use your your card directly, or you can uh, you can do it with uh, Google Pay and stuff like that. Uh, I tried all of those options. It none of them really worked. Are we gonna hit it? Mm, we never got it. Did we pass it? I didn't think we did. Oh, yeah, we definitely did. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Completely skipped it. Mm, didn't even realize. I think my problem is I, I try to, uh, I don't like actually stopping. I just, I try to just coast. Um, which you can get by with if you're going, you know, probably like, uh, less than three or four miles an hour. So that's what I try to do. Didn't work out. <laughs> but. I'm gonna try to see if maybe uh, just for some reason my uh, my card blocked it. Um, so I've had that happen before when I try to go with. And it doesn't happen with everybody. It just only some for some reason. Uh, it, they block the charge uh, until you confirm that it was you. Um, so I'm not sure why it would have done that, but maybe it did for some reason. Uh, block the transaction. Um, so once I get that figured out, hopefully by the next video, or, uh, at least one of the videos this week, for sure, we'll be getting in Ruta's, uh, cab over. Pete cab over. I've really been wanting to get, get me, uh, in one of Ruta's trucks for a while now, so. So we can sit at eight. Not over revving there. You know, it's kind of a shame that that didn't work out. I tried to get that, try to purchase that today, but that didn't uh, really work. Um, and I want to say that I've used the. Uh, Seeing some frame just drop here. That's not cool. Oh boy, they're sticking out. We gotta give them some room. Oof, man. You gotta, you gotta keep your eyes peeled for stuff like that. Those those road events catch you off guard if you're not watching. All right, we can bypass the station. This, uh, we just stopped at one, so I would hope we didn't have to go to the next one. Um, I've driven Outlaws uh, W900 before, I think. Um, but, uh, I had not driven the 359 before, so this is a great truck. I love it. Can't wait to drive it around some more in my, uh, my personal time. Not that this isn't my personal time, but <laughs> offline is what I, what I should say, or I'm not, uh, doing a recording or anything like that. But usually when I'm not recording, I'll do like really long drives. Um, that's normally, you know, I normally try to keep the videos at a reasonable length, not take it too, too long. Left. Just realized we've, we've been, uh, somewhat speeding a little bit, not really. I mean, the guys up here are going a little slow, so. Yeah, they're going around 55, 60 for sure, even though speed limit is 65. Um, but that definitely is on the bucket list uh, to get one of uh, Ruta's trucks. 
I was also also contemplating getting the Highway Killer W900. Is it, I mean, I'm a sucker for Kenworth. But, um... I don't know, I just kind of figured since I have a W900 already from Ironworks, I might as well go with something I don't have yet. That's my first purchase. Oh, boy. Oh, shoot. What's going on here? Are we stopping on the highway? What's going on here? Come on, people. Figure it out. Oh, shoot. We're stopping. What's going on up here, guys? Oh, it's a lane ending. That's not the right gear I wanted. Oh my. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Oh, shoot. You know what? That was our opportunity to switch lanes and we missed it. Oh, he's letting us out. Cool. You're not going to go? Okay. Bad accident. Look at that. Wow. No fun. No fun at all. Alright. Let's get back up in our gears here. Let's go to six for a second. Switch lanes while we can. Go to seven high and hang out there. Man. That's two uh, events that's, that have come up <laughs> here on the road and not even that far apart. But fortunately, we were actually, we were actually keeping uh, alert for stuff like that because that, that happens. Um, I'm feeling pretty blessed today because we've got some, we've had two, two accounts. Oh, nice car there. Uh, we're, uh, AI traffic actually let us in. That's pretty rare these days. Pretty rare. Somebody to actually be nice to you on the road and, and give you, cut you some slack and let you in. So that was definitely much appreciated. Oh, some frames dropping again. I notice, I notice, uh, whenever I... I noticed most of the time the frames will drop when I'm in the city, but I don't know. Today's been uh, a little rocky, even outside of the city. I don't really want to mess with the graphics settings that I just, just like tweaked uh, yesterday or the day before for the last video. Okay, now it's a lot more stable. It's a lot more smooth now. Thought we were speeding again, but it's actually 80 through here, so we're cool. Um, man, I was having trouble deciding between the uh, the cab over and the W900 until I kind of just figured, you know, I, I, I might as well go with a truck I don't have. So... It's worked out so far. Okay, we're back here. Sorry about that. I had to take a phone call there, so I had to pause the recording for a second. But uh, we're back here. Totally lost my train of thought, so I, <laughs> I don't remember what, what I was talking about. It probably wasn't important if I can't remember. Yeah, it was kind of a long call, so I had to do a little pause in the footage there. But anywho, um, I want to say I was talking about. Uh, I know it's. I know at some point I was talking about uh, lengthening the the recordings and such. Uh, I try to not keep it too far above like forty-five minutes to an hour. Seems like probably the most that somebody would want to just sit in front of a, a video and watch it all. Um, because personally, for me, I, I like the, um, I like, I, 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 I don't know, I kind of go between, like, uh, 
shorter videos and longer videos, but ATS is kind of like one of those things where you just kind of know to expect uh, some longer footage, especially for channels like what I try to put out, which is uh, commentary. Um, you know, and I find it relaxing, like a, like the long videos of uh, just you know a nice scenic drive and then some commentary on there. I think it gives people a nice chance to, you know, cover what they probably couldn't cover in a very short 10 to 15 minute video. Whoa, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. Slowing down again. Man. I'm telling you, man, you got to keep your eyes peeled for stuff like that. Scenery is great and all, but you could, you could get into a serious accident here on the road. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I think I, I find it relaxing um, and very, very much uh, like, uh, what do you call it, kind of, kind of like inspiring to just, uh, oh, somebody stopped there, stalled on the side of the road. That's not fun. Uh, to just like really make sure that uh, the content in between, you know, I think most people will come for, you know, to see like what skins and stuff you've got, um, or the uh, the truck and trailer that you're driving around with, but not a lot of people really stay for the drive, um, unless that's ju that's exactly the kind of thing you're into. Like I feel like the ATS content, uh, what do you call it? Not so much a demographic, but. It's just a, it's a very niche kind of audience that you're catering to. So most of them are going to be cool with watching a, a pretty long video and just sitting there, uh, just taking in, uh, you know, the commentary, the scenery. Oh, Casper discovered. Nice. Um, and dropping frames again. That's kind of strange. I noticed that also certain trucks do it uh, for some reason seem to have frame trouble with certain trucks um, even the uh, more simple ones sometimes um, yeah so I try to keep it not you know try to keep it to a reasonable length uh, as far as the, the videos go but uh, I, I mean I, I do expect that some people are going to want to sit through uh, you know, the, the whole thing just because that's what they're into. Um, and that's me. Like, when I watch my favorite uh, YouTubers and, uh, you know, they're, they're covering everything from, like, <laughs> uh, customizing their truck and trailer and the, uh, at the, uh, the service at the shop to just doing the, the actual delivery. Um, and everything in between um i'm there for for all of it i just i love everything i just find like every aspect of this game interesting but some people might only find you know the deliveries or the the drive or the customization part interesting so i think it just depends on on the person slower way down over here Turn left. I guess we can keep our five gear here ah oh. oh, man that's the thing that's annoying about this uh, whenever you go into a menu um, it doesn't remember what gear you were in uh, If you have to pause the game or something like that, it doesn't remember that you had your switch splitting onto the higher gears. Um, well, okay, it does and it doesn't. I noticed when when I came back, I was on the highway, and of course, still in I think eight, and I could downshift to seven six five, but when I tried to downshift to. Um, what do you call it? Uh, four right there for the exit. 
it has some trouble for some reason, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm not sure if anybody else has experienced that before, uh, or know if that's a, a problem, if uh, that's a limitation of the game, and just how it behaves with these splitters or not, but kind of weird. And kind of annoying too, because it's any time you go into a menu, Maybe not the map, but definitely the pause menu, or maybe it's just after a certain amount of time passes. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. I think that's why I appreciate even more the people that do stick around for the, uh, the longer stuff because I know that it's it's not everybody's cup of tea uh, to just sit and watch a 30 45 minute hour long video but at the same time there's things you can do to make it more interesting and that's where I am trying to improve as far as like uh, you know because I know I know I'm not the liveliest person or the most interesting person <laughs> Or the one that has the most to say. Because uh, believe it or not, these videos are actually pretty hard to make. Um, I have to try to... Ah, it's doing that weird frame stuttering thing where it's like rubber banding. Um, I gotta figure out what's going on with that. I gotta also adjust my little head tracker here. It's not exactly where I want it. Yeah, that's a little better. I'm having to look down further than I normally do to keep a good cab view or else I'm looking all the way up here. Um, and it's not, it's still not very leveled with my, where my head usually is. Well, I'll fix that in a second. Um, yeah, so I really do appreciate the ones that, uh, that watch it, watch the videos through. Uh, cause I, I know I enjoy, I enjoy watching the, uh, longer videos. Sometimes I'll just have them on in the background. And uh, there's times where I'll just watch them to just kind of relax. It's just, uh, it's very, very uh, relaxing and calming to just watch somebody drive around. I guess we can go into eight now. Mr. Exxon. Okay, I was about to say, don't turn right and slow us down here. <laughs> Had enough scares today. We're actually getting down to the area that I like the most, the uh, the open, open country area. Let's go back to seven for a minute. Love this area though. Look at that. Big old machinery. Wide open spaces. I love this. I would even say that I like it more than uh, than a big old city with tons of buildings and places to go. I think I prefer this. for the wide open spaces which is kind of uh, I mean it does make sense too because I, I live in the city uh, not downtown but definitely in the city limits of San Antonio uh, so I can see my fair share of uh, whoa, that's a tight turn right there whoopsie I'm not paying attention I'm looking at the <laughs> mountains um, I live uh, kind of, you know, outside the city limits. Uh, sorry, within city limits, but outside the, the main city, the main area. Um, and, uh, you know, I've just gotten to prefer 
the wide open spaces. I I, te I I know what it's called. I technically live in like the hill country of San Antonio. Right. After um. Yards, turn right. So yeah, there's a there's a lot, lot less buildings, more so country area. Out here, um, right. but it's still. Oops, running again. It's not. It's not farmland or anything like that. It's still within city limits. I live kind of on the newer side of town. So there's there's still a lot of new stuff. Uh, a lot of uh, cool restaurants and places nearby. A lot of places still uh, being constructed, especially develop um, residential areas. Residential developments going up. Uh, left and right, seems like. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, man. That's cool. <laughs> Going off the side of the road here. Not paying attention. Oh, man. How can you not fall in love with that? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous and these tunnels too. And a train right there too. Look at that. I'm trying to pay attention to where I'm going, but at the same time taking the scenery. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I think we can afford to go a little slow. Let's take in the sights. Looks like we're about 10 minutes away from our destination. I'm definitely curious to see where we're dropping off here. Um, kind of another thing I messed with was uh, turning my rain probability down. Uh, so I changed it to uh, 20%. That way um, we still get, you know, some that's so beautiful. Wow. You know, we, st we still get some rain pretty, you know, I want it fairly often. I don't want it extremely rare. That's beautiful too. Look at that bridge. I don't know if that's a creek or a river or what that's about, but... How do you say that? Thermopolis? <laughs> Welcome to see you. Ugh, there's, there goes those frames again, jeez. Oh man, we got hit with speeding. Where, where are we at? Man, I don't want to say we were, uh, well, I guess we were going, what, 35 or 40? And it's, uh, 30, is it? Hmm. That sucks. Ikea double trailers. Oh, look at that H2 over there. Orange Hummer. Go straight. Go to five. We're turning right, so we gotta get up in Oh shoot, Did we hit somebody? What happened? Oh man, I think we did. I didn't even see them. They must have been in the blind spot. At least I don't think I saw them. I'll have to see on the playback. Sorry about that. Shoot. I'm usually pretty good about not hitting... <laughs> hitting cars. That is completely on me. Okay, 
Let's make sure we can safely merge over here. Not kill anybody in the process. Man, that was unfortunate. I did not see the... And I thought we were, I thought we were taking a right turn, but it was just the curve of the road. I mean, I can... It's hard to tell sometimes because the, the GPS will... It's not, it's not really easy to tell which roads actually continue and which ones you can't go down. I know I have the, um, you know, the, the street markers, borders, whatever you want to call them, um, disabled just to not have to look at it, but I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell. So a super sharp turn on the GPS will look like you're actually taking, like you're actually getting off the road you're on now, but you're not. If that makes sense. And I thought that's what was happening. I thought we were taking a right turn off the road we were on, uh, but I was wrong. Wound up <laughs> causing a wreck back there. Oh, uh, no. That was unfortunate. Try to avoid those accidents in the future. Um, I mean, I make a, I make an, a, a good effort as it is to try to avoid them. Um, the other thing that doesn't really help is can't really see our uh, small mirror too well. Uh, portion of it's covered up by the door, but my apologies about that. Let's try harder to check next time. Oh, slow on down. I don't think I saw any uh, speed limit change signs. Seems like it went from, was it 70 all the way to 30? It's like that. Go straight. Unless I missed it. The cool little town right here. Oh boy. Slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Oh! That's another one. Damn. Two wrecks in one day, man. How much worse can it get? Is this guy, uh. Okay, he's moving on. A little fender bender. Ah, uh, could not slow down enough to avoid that one. Oh, okay, we're, we're going to stay here, catch the red. Well, this has been an eventful drive, <laughs> at the least. Uh, these frames are messing us up too. Let me adjust my, i to adjust my head tracker again. There we go. It's better. All right. All right, let's go ahead and go to six and sit there. Go straight. Maintain the speed limit. What's going on? Are we stopping for... What are we stopping here for? Okay. All I see is a merge lane. I guess we were stopping for that. <laughs> Look at that sunset. That's gorgeous. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. 
Alright. So we're down here. Turn right. Better not kill anybody. Should have went to four, that was my mistake. Down shifted too far. Very nice area. I like this. All these hills and these wide open spaces. Well, it's a good thing we've got... Uh, I want to say we've got a uh, a bull bar on our uh, on our truck here, so we didn't uh, take too much damage. That car definitely took the brunt of it. Lost a bumper, most likely, due to my negligence. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. That's it's two wrecks today, so I gotta. You gotta make up for that. It's unacceptable. But it happens, you know? It happens to the best. Go straight. But especially when you're not paying attention. Which, in my case, I wasn't. curve for a second. <laughs> Avoid hitting the guy next to us. Oh no, we're merging. Okay, he's behind us, good. Hopefully everybody speeds up a little. Down again. Go straight. All right, we can bypass the station, so we're gonna keep carrying on here. Our drop-off's just above, just above the, or right. around the top of the GPS there, so we're not far. Time is upon us. That's one thing I like about my uh, Kenworth uh, K100. That little uh, computer is pretty handy, showing us the uh, time of day. Curious as to a time of day of uh, Keep right. our game here. It looks like we could be at uh, probably, what, 9.30? like that. Oh, we turn right. 
I didn't, I didn't hear the GPS say we turn around. Oh, the first wheel. Look at that. That's a first. Never seen one of those before in the game. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, Laurel is, uh... 30? Did I see that right? 30 miles away? Six high, but it was kind of having trouble getting going. That was a neat, uh, neat Ferris wheel. I haven't been on one of those in uh, in a while, a few months. Closer to a year, I think, actually. <laughs> Laurel discovered. Here we are. That big old uh, industrial plant there of some kind. Whoa! Snap! Oh shoot! Oh my! Oh my! Oh man! Oh man! That dude! No! 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 Don't go! Man, that would have been number three. <laughs> number three. Which at that point it's like okay, you've already got two, so what's one more? But holy! That guy just slammed on it. Which, again, is not unheard of. These guys keep you on your toes, for sure. After 100 yards, turn right. Alrighty, we can do that. Everybody. Turn right. Whoa, you gotta be kidding me. Is this some kind of weird merge? That lane just ends? You're not serious, are you? That is so strange. I've never seen anything like that before. Why would why would you do that? Yeah, this lane just ends. Like right before the the intersection. What is that about? Man, that's just asking for an accident. I like the lights on the dash, it's pretty cool. Although, a good number of them are <laughs> kind of blocked by the wheel, but... Nice touch. Exxon gas station there too. And there's a moon up there. Very cool. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I was in neutral. Now I realize. I thought I, I thought I was sitting here in first gear the whole time. Alright. This has been an eventful ride, that's for sure. what we're here for all the little mishaps and <laughs> what have you we are here for it
Very good. Nope, we are not. Oh, he's turning. Uh, okay. We're gonna go for it. That little too wide. Not as wide as I need, or not wider than I needed to. That's what I was trying to say. Here. This looks to be the spot. You have reached your destination. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see where we go. Looks like right up here on the left side somewhere. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna skip parking. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do it. We shall. We shall. Let's just make sure we're set up properly for it. Okay. Yeah, we definitely went <laughs> further than we needed to, but. Hopefully, we can just make this quick and easy. kind of overdid that cut a little bit uh yeah oh well it's all good we'll straighten her out I kept trying to look for the little the middle indicator on my wheel because I'm not good at feeling out where the middle is. Let's just go just back, oops, back a little bit more. Okay. I feel better about that. Okay. Fine with me. That was definitely fun. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got it there. Denver to Laurel. Got an excellent. Uh, only two wrecks. <laughs> 571 miles. So it goes 13 and a half hours. Um, that's pretty good with me. So that's the uh, Outlaw 359. Thanks to our Brule Bar. Kind of saved us some damage from that. <laughs> that uh, uh, offender bender we had. Um, I'll have the link to both the Black Beauty skin from Polly and the truck as well, which is free, completely free. Um, both will be in the description if you want to go and grab them. Uh, and that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. I apologize for this one taking so long, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Thanks for hanging around. We'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe if you like the content and drop a like if you uh, want to see more. It helps me to grow the channel. It helps keep me motivated to make these videos. Uh, definitely helps me out a lot more than you know. So I appreciate the love. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.